Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa. The ESCA E36 got a little bit of a livery change. Go into a little bit of a fade style with some tribal. So I'm gonna be drifting here on the mountains with it. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow in the description box below. Let's get to it. We're gonna go full send here in the mountains. We almost bash into the wall off the rip. This car is super grippy, as you can see. So we gotta manage our flicks very carefully. Use left foot brake there, we got. It, <laughs> it was actually. Way more gentle than I thought it was going to be. Kind of using the car's weight to minimize the brake grabbing. Just a little left foot brake, a little hand brake there. Pulling it all the way out into the parking spot to make sure we don't hit the wall. A little locked up on the front brakes there. Not too terrible though. This car is like fourth gear hero right now. Oh, we're gonna go in the dirt. Yep. Misanticipated that turn. Once these tires get really, really hot, which they're starting to, there's gonna be a lot of loss of grip. As you can see, already starting to get a little loss of grip in the front. Not too terrible though. We got this. Not the smoothest to that section. A little bit of straight here. Kind of a hard flick angle there, see if we can stretch this out. Left foot break. A little bit of a wobble, didn't want to wobble there. Oop. It kind of wobbled out. Could have been in fifth, I probably ran out of gear there. We're gonna oscillate ourselves back and forth. Oh! I mean, kind of a backwards entry, but unintentional, very sloppy backwards entry. Ooh! I have no idea what happened there. Kind of, uh, Came out of power. Third E breaker up there. Kind of utilizing left foot brake a lot. Probably should be in fifth gear. I think I'm overstretching my gear a little bit too much, which is causing the weird grip up situation <laughs> that I'm experiencing. This car definitely not fully designed to do this type of driving. This is not the right setup for these types of tracks. I am on my base tune, so this is not definitely not the right. Uh, Base saying to be running mountain roads. We can manage it to make it work. Oh, we're shooting that one. Grass is not friend. We managed to somewhat save that. Don't know how I saved that. Kind of. Wobble that entry in. This gear hall probably right here. That corner kind of was decreasing radius corner. Ooh. Oh, there it was. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. 
I knew we were going to crash at least once. <laughs> but we got this. Hopefully we didn't break anything really in the front end. You can tell. Definitely losing grip in the rear. As we're smoking this in fifth gear right now. We're probably smoking in sixth. A little boggy. Fifth gear definitely, uh, for sure. Made it all the way down to the city. So, definitely very interesting. And I'm gonna go, oh, that's not me dead. We're gonna take a look at the replay. You guys can enjoy the sight and sound of this car ripping down the mountains here in the replay. So, we're gonna go take a look at that. Let's do it. Like I said, the E36 get a little bit of a change in styling. Definitely going with that fade is something I really kind of wanted to do for a while. Kind of a uh, Rome Charpentier esque kind of with the fade. So we're going to be taking a look at this replay, watching this first section, which was actually really flowy. That was a really nice line. Big old next level racing on the door. Big thank you, next level racing for being a support of the channel. Mazda Racing as well. Fossin. The car is just ripping through the mountain. The first session we were super smooth and super uh, good, and then we kind of got a little bit screwed up with the grip level of the tires and the way the suspension was set up. Later on down the road. That would have been a sweet, that's a sweet view right there. Kind of dipping it into the parking lot section. Little bit of a lock up in the brakes. So if you guys want to keep seeing videos like this here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm going to leave you guys to watch the rest of this replay of the E36. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll find the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Videos are a little bit different recently because of my big move into my new studio style room and changing up everything like that. So videos are going to be coming back once I get fully settled in to the new location. So, as always, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.